everybody, welcome back to Make It with Mod Podge. My name's Kathy Fillion, and today I have a really fun technique video for you. I am going to be sharing 12 plus ideas for things that you can add to your Mod Podge. We're gonna explore everything from dollar store eyeshadow and glitter and alcohol inks and food coloring to metallic folk art paints and different types of seed beads and stuff like that. So let's just dive right in today and get started with this. So let's start by looking at some of our sample boards. So on the sample board, you're gonna see that I've got a space that's white where we can apply our mix-ins. I've got some dark spots, so you can see what it's gonna look like over that. And I've Mod Podge down some black and white paper, so you can see what these different techniques would look like over a printed paper design. These are really fun if you do altered art or collage work, or if you simply want some sort of really cool top coat on a project. We're going to work with glitters. I'm gonna show you different techniques for getting a light glitter look or a chunky mixed glitter, all different types. And you can see what it's gonna look like over the different colors too. So let's just get started. We're gonna start with our dollar store eyeshadow. So I picked up this eyeshadow pack like this for $1.50, actually my dollar store is $1.50. And what I'm looking for when I'm looking at eyeshadows to mix in is some of the shimmers like that and some of the matte. The matte is really cool for getting that sort of antique look. So this here is my sample board for eyeshadows and this is what our white or that light color there, that kind of silvery color looks like. This is our purples and this is our golds down at the bottom. So to do that, I've got some just small cups here. You can use little recycled cups couple of tools you're gonna want is like knife or toothpick and you're going to just go ahead let's start with our light one and literally break up that eyeshadow and put it right into any kind of little mixing cup will do I use leftover cups from my kids snacks it's it's pretty bad underneath my sink I have like tons of different yogurt cups and things all washed and dried out ready for my next crafting adventure. So that's just one little pod there. So we're gonna add some of our Mod Podge to this. You can add gloss or matte or satin. I'm working with gloss today. So let's pour a little bit of that in. And you could mix this up in a large quantity or small. So you're just gonna mix that together. If you had mica powders, you could use mica powders as well. The eyeshadows are fun because you can get so many colors for a buck or just around a buck. Okay, now let's see what that looks like when we apply that. So here's our sample board and Got to, look how many brushes because we got 12 plus techniques so I need all these brushes today so let's go ahead and just show you when it's wet we'll apply it and it's really not showing up so that's over the white okay when it's dry I hope you can see that you can really start to see that shimmer so that shimmer is gonna come through now where the white really comes alive is over your darker colors almost like an aurora borealis there so that's what it's like when it's wet and that's what it's like when it's dry let's kind of move that around i'm hoping the light's catching that for you you can kind of see and then this is what it looks like it's almost just like a pearl finish over a print so it just creates like a shimmery pearl look and i know it's hard to tell but if you were seeing this in real life you can really see that shimmer on there so if you were using, you know, any kind of, this is the white kind of shimmery eyeshadow or silvery eyeshadow. Okay, let's move on to our purples. Same thing, we're just gonna go in. For this one, I'm gonna do some of the matte and some of the shimmer, and you'll just break that up. Go ahead and get it into your little container there. And let's just add this one. This is just gonna really add some cool pigment. It's really fun if you're wanting to do some collage. You can layer up different colors. Add a little bit of our Mod Podge right on there. 
and let's mix. Um, every time you do that, the mic gets hit. So raise that mic up. Okay. You try stirring again. So. Okay. Okay, let's mix. All right, now let's go ahead and add this to our sample board. So this is our purples here. And now we have taken our plain white Mod Podge and created a sheer purple look. Again, you could do this with any color. These eyeshadow palettes come in tons of different colors, and that's from the dollar store. So I'm not using, you know, fancy high-end makeup. And this is what it looks like when it's dry. And if you use the eyeshadow that has some of the shimmer in it, you're gonna get that shimmer when it's dry. And let's take a look at it over black. Go over our black. Love that, oh, that's so cool. Really fun. I'm already thinking of some ideas for Halloween. So that's it, dry over black. And then this is what it looks like over a print. You can really see that sheer. So the, I'm pressing down and adding a light coat. Okay, so that will dry pretty light. This is like three coats. So if you wanted to add more, just add it thicker. And you can even go in and add it thicker in some spots and keep it thinner in others. Really just depends upon what kind of project you're working on. Now I wanna show you the gold. That is my favorite for this. We've got a bunch of cups stacked up here. <laughs> this is gonna be messy today. Okay, so for the gold, I'm using this gold shimmery color here. Let's go ahead and hopefully I'm hitting it into my container. There we go. And let's add a little bit of this gold just to give it some more pigment. You don't have to even use a whole palette, you know. You can just use a little bit. Okay, let's add our Mod Podge. Go ahead and give it a mix. So the longer you mix it, the more blended it will uh, become. If you're noticing like a bunch of chunks in there, you can just sort of tap them out you can use the end of a paintbrush to stir, coffee stir sticks, whatever you want. Okay, let's go ahead and get this gold down. So this time I wanna start over here on our black and white. You can see that's about two coats there. So you can add a light coat just to create a light antiquing look over the paper. Or just like with the purple, you can layer it up, thicken it up. You can spread it thicker. You can tap it like this. All different. Let's take a look over the black. Really cool. That's just eyeshadow. Like I said earlier, you can use pigment powders too if you want. Any kind of mica powders. Just like that. It's a really fun way to create some different colorful top coats using your Mod Podge. Super fun over printed papers, collage work, anything like that. All right, I'm gonna set this one aside. Let's move on to glitter. Glitter, everybody loves the glitter. So the first glitter I wanna show you is this one, and this is three glitters at once. So if you look closely, this is one of my favorite types of glittering, is using a mixture of ultra fine glitter. So this is our ultra fine, super sparkly ultra fine. Then we have, I'm gonna to add to that, just some traditional chunky glitter. This is like the kids cheap, cheap glitter. Let's add some of that. And then I've got some really fun of this big shaped glitter. Let's see, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that open. And we're gonna add some of that really chunky to it, okay? So before we add our Mod Podge, let's mix that up a bit. And then we'll add some Mod Podge to that. And this, you can see here, we've got our big chunks. We've got our little chunks, and then that ultra fine creates that background of all that shimmer. So let's add some Mod Podge there. And we'll go ahead and stir that up. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. Now when this goes on, it's gonna look milky, 
kind of gray goldish, but when it dries, it will be that gorgeous shimmer. Grab another brush. And same thing with this, you can tap it on to create a super chunky look or brush it on. And look at that. You can see the ultra fine creates that background. So you're getting that glitter. Then the uh, medium size creates that little bit middle area. And then the big chunks create that top coat. So that's it on white. And then let's look at it over black. And again, you can kind of, you want to chunk it up in an area. You know, this is really fun if you're adding this to cards or angel wings or anything like that. Let's take a look at how it is when it's dry also. So we'll go over our printed paper. Really cool. So this is three different glitters. Remember it's the ultra fine, the kids kind of what I call chunky glitter. And then we've got our shaped bigger pieces. And when it's dry, it really, look at that over the black. It just is really incredible. Now, if you wanted a super solid look, you would do this over gold. Paint it gold first and then put that over it and it will look like it's solid gold glitter. So that is our glitter. Now let's move on to, oh, guys, I've got, <laughs> it's like a crafting. <laughs> I've got Mod Podge everywhere. Let me wipe my elbow. Okay, so now we're gonna do these different purple glitters. So for the purple glitter, what's cool about this, so these are both ultra fine glitters. And if you want a light dusting, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour our Mod Podge first. So let's pour some Mod Podge in. And again, this is gloss. Oh, boy, guys, I'm sorry. I'm making a horrible mess today. We've got, this is bad. I hate wasting Mod Podge. Okay. So for this, let's add a little bit of the purple glitter and we'll start with a little bit. So there's just a little sprinkling. Let's mix that up. A little can go a long way. So if you wanted just a tiny hint of glitter, you can go ahead and just add a little bit and that will give you just a kiss of glitter, okay? One, maybe coat one more time there. Right here is about two coats. So that's what it's like when it's dry. So go ahead and let's pick that up and look at it. And let's see it over black. It, well, the purple is not as noticeable over the black, but I wanted you guys to see what these different colors, you know, really look like over dark and light and print. When it's wet, you can barely see the glitter there but when it's dry, you really see it. It's so pretty. And then this is it over print. You sort of lose the print, but go ahead and add a little bit there. So that's if you just add a little bit of the purple glitter to it. Now I wanna show you if you add more. So we're gonna just dump the rest of this in and let's add some of this darker purple too. So this is two different colors of our ultra fine glitter. And let's mix that up. You can already see that's a lot more in there. So there's lots of times that you might want, you know, this Christmas ornaments, things like that. You can even mix this up and pour it on the inside of a glass ornament. You can top coat stuff with this. I mean, it's really endless. Okay, and let's go ahead and add that. You can do the tap like before if you want that really thick, chunky look or just like so, brush it. So you can see just by the amount of glitter that you add, you're getting more coverage. Let's put it over black. It still looks so milky over the black, but once that's dry, it's gonna look like this. So I also think this is like no, whoop, no flake glitter, because you're gluing it down and sealing it at the same time, because the Mod Podge is sealing it down. Now when I'm doing glitter, I really do like to use the gloss formula because the gloss keeps the glitter looking shiny. The matte formula kind of doles it out. So if I'm glittering, I try to use the gloss or super gloss. So that is what our different glitter mix-ins look like. Super cool. So I know you've got stashes of glitter at home. This is a really fun and easy way to use up some of your glitter and create some of your own custom Mod Podge formulas. All right, let's move on to paint 
food coloring, and alcohol inks. So for that, we're gonna mix all these up at once. So I've got some full cart paint, some Mod Podge alcohol ink, and some food coloring. So they're gonna create a few different looks. We've got our paint here, our food coloring, and our alcohol inks. So you can see it's varying degrees, but it's cool. You get different colors, different kinds of shimmers. So let's pour a little bit in each container. I hope I'm not spilling too much. I can't see you guys. There we go. And now we're gonna add a dollop of full cart paint. And you can use any uh, color of full cart paint. In a minute, I'm gonna show you what metallics look like. This is just the matte. Just add a little dollop of that. The more you add, uh, the deeper the color. Let's add some food coloring. Use a toothpick. Get in there. Get some food coloring. There we go. And let's add some alcohol ink. Okay, now guys, let's take a look at what these look like on our sample board. So we'll start with our paint. This is the regular folk art paint. You can see how that creates a cool wash over white, almost like watercolor. But because it's with Mod Podge, it's gonna seal everything at the same time. And this is what that looks like dry. And let's go over black real quick. It's very cool too. So really just depends upon the project you're doing. And I really love it over prints. Just take a look at what it looks like dry and then I'll put it down wet. But that's so fun if you're layering up different pieces of, you know, like even vintage newspapers and book pages and scrapbook paper is very cool for collage. So you can still see that print through it, but you've created that fun tint on there. All right, moving on to the next paintbrush, guys. <laughs> we got, I think it's actually 15 techniques today. So let's do our hot pink here. So this is our food coloring. And food coloring, it looks light pink right now but that is gonna dry a lot brighter. It's gonna dry like that. Now this is hot pink food coloring. And you can see it barely shows up over the black. But, uh, you know, I wanted to show you guys what each one really looks like. So when it goes on, you can see that color, but when it dries, it really doesn't show up over the black. But look how fun it is over a printed paper. Really fun for creating a sort of bright poppy looks. So you can really get creative with this. Super fun. Okay, now let's take a look at our alcohol inks. They create that really cool wash as well. So if you have alcohol inks, this is a beautiful way to use them. And this is just this nice, pretty light green. Take a look at that over white. Creates a cool wash. They dry darker than they go on. So that is one sort of word of caution. And again, it doesn't show up very much over our black. It looks like it when it's wet, but this is it dry, so you really don't even see it over the black. But where this stuff really shines is over your printed papers. Look at that, so pretty. And that's what it looks like when it's dry. You get all your print still coming through, but you've created that cool tinted look. Let's go ahead and move on to our next one. The next I wanna show you is our metallic paints. This is really one of my favorites. So these are the Folk Art Metallics. I've got the Rose Gold. Uh, we've got our Gold Gold, Inca Gold, and our Pearly White. So let's go ahead and just add some Mod Podge to these cups. <clears throat> Look at how cool that is when you get that wash coming through. It's such a pretty, that rose gold, I don't know if you guys are so crazy for rose gold like I am. It started with me last year and then I ended up using it on a bunch of projects. Go ahead and pour a little bit into this one. There we go. 
We don't need much for these samples. And we're gonna add just a dollop. So if you were to paint this on, it would be, you know, solid. So by adding it to the Mod Podge, you're creating that sheer look. This is the Folk Art Metallic. And we'll go ahead and add a little gold. And this is all gonna be the same technique using this paint, but I really wanted to show you the different finishes because they do create very different looks. And this is the Pearl White, one of my favorite colors too. All three of these are really, this is my favorite gold also. Okay, so let's start by mixing up our pearl with our Mod Podge. And you can see on this one, you barely see it. Let's see if I can have the camera catch that. That's on the white, but it really shines over your darker colors in your prints. It almost creates that Aurora Borealis look, so it gives it a pearl finish. And because we've mixed it with the Mod Podge, it's sheer at the same time. So it barely shows up on white, but it really comes alive over your darker colors and over your prints. This is pretty if you're top coating snow or any kind of wings or anything like that. Even hair, it looks over a printed hair design. So that's that, and then let's pick it up and see if we can catch the light a little bit. See that pretty shimmer. Now let's take a look at gold. Oh my goodness, I'm using up all my brushes today. <laughs> gold, mix that up. Now Folk Art Metallics, geez, I think there's about five different golds. So if you wanted an old world gold or, you know, Mayan gold, you just pick which kind of gold you like. Look at that sheer wash. So you really see that over the white a little bit more than the pearl. The pearl really just gives it that pearly finish. But that's the gold and look at it over black. So cool. And it goes on that milky, but it's gonna dry that really golden and very pretty as a wash. Let's take a look over the paper. And over here, you'll see it dry. Now, if you wanna do that same technique, you would need to let it dry flat, but you can layer this up just by sort of tapping it thicker in certain areas, or you can brush it out. Either way, it really just depends upon the project that you're making. And let's take a peek at the rose gold. It's coppery, really. Let's see. mix that up. Go ahead and apply that down. Very pretty. Such a cool wash. You can see it a lot over the black. That's the dry. Remember, it goes wet, dry, wet, dry. And then let's look at it over our black and white prints. Very cool. I hope that this is got you guys thinking of ways that you can incorporate these washes in your projects because it's so fun. It's so fun to use these different mediums that you probably already have in your craft room. Now I've got one last sample board to show you and this is really cool. So we're just using some other uh, elements. I've got some chunky foil, some copper foils, some star glitter and seed beads. Now, you could use seed beads or you could use holeless beads. Some people call them caviar or macro beads. So let's start with our flakes. So the flakes you can do a couple different ways. You can apply your Mod Podge down and then you could add the flakes to it or you can create sort of a flaky paste by just adding some of the flakes to Mod Podge, and they're just light as air. Can barely, I mean, my goodness, they just, and they, <laughs> they cling to everything, <laughs> but it's very fun. Uh, this is in the glitter section of most stores. Sometimes you'll find it in the resin section, and for that, you can just tap it down like that. If you wanted a um, full coverage, you would wanna get foil sheets. This is just for adding like fun highlights to different things. And you can flatten them by just by tapping more 
and pushing down. Look how cool it is over the black when it's dry. Let's add a little bit. Remember, the Mod Podge looks really white, but this it's gonna dry perfectly clear just like that. So these top coats you can use on all kinds of projects. If you have a wood project or a photo transfer, you can add these top coats. Let's go ahead and see that over printed. Capture some more. Now I wanna show you what it's like if you just sprinkle some too. Let's grab a few pieces, sprinkle. This, if you wanna like have it in a real specific spot, you may wanna do the sprinkling. And then you can go in and just coat it like so. And that really creates a cool element. And let's take a look at what that's like when it's dry. Very cool. I don't know, guys. I think I've said cool like a hundred times in this video. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> I do love it. <laughs> so now we've got our star glitter. Uh, this is, you could do that same technique of layering up the glitters if you wanted to. But let's go ahead and add some Mod Podge to that. Look at those stars. Oh, it's so cool. This is really fun for, you know, teen projects too. And this one's like dry over white. Look at it over silver. So many ideas. And then he, or over black, sorry. And over here, it kind of gets lost over the printed design. And this is chunky, chunky. So you'll have to spread it flat or you can layer it up but for a night sky or something, oh, so cool. And remember that Mod Podge part is gonna dry perfectly clear, but leaving all those cool stars behind. And it ends up just with this kind of fun look. You know, you don't know if it's gonna be, sometimes it's chunked up more or lighter. That's what's so cool about it. It's never gonna be the same way twice. And then let's pick that up and take a peek at what it's like when it's dry. I love it over the black. I mean, you could really add a lot to projects with that. And now I've got, my last one I wanna show you is the seed beads. And the seed beads are really, really fun. You can, these were also from the dollar store. So I've coated entire projects with seed beads and Mod Podge. And to do that, let's see if I've got a handle on this, there we go. Uh, you can just create almost like a paste of beads. I did a small dress form, like a dresser size, um, sort of like a jewelry display. And I just mixed a whole package of seed beads up with the Mod Podge and just coated it and it was absolutely stunning. So for this, you just go in and tap it down like so. You want it solid, you just fill it in solid. You can brush it. It doesn't brush as easy as like the glitters do because you're working with the, you know, sort of more 3D pieces. But look at how cool it is when it dries. It's, you just get that solid. If you're doing a beach scene or something like that, super cool for this. And by the way, you can do this with sand also. And let's see this over black. So pretty over the black. You could do this with gold beads and uh, silver beads if you're doing holiday stuff. And over the print, it gets a little lost, but it is cool if you're doing collage work and you wanna add like a hint of something or you wanna, I keep saying wings too. There's lots of different cool things that you could do over wings or just to highlight trees, just like that. Now when it's dry, all of that Mod Podge is gonna seal and glue all of those beads together in one big solid piece. Oh my goodness, guys, that was a big one. So that was 15 different ideas of things that you can mix into your Mod Podge to create cool top coats. And just to quickly review, we did our metallic paints, one of my very favorite techniques for creating some cool washes. Up here, we've got our different glitter looks. We've got our three-part glitters and our ultra-fine glitters. Of course, what we just went over with our seed beads and our stars and our flake copper. We've got our full cart paint, food coloring, Mod Podge, alcohol inks, 
and then down here we have our eyeshadow all of our dollar store eyeshadow from the very beginning so thanks so much for joining me i hope that these ideas have inspired you to think about some cool top coats please leave a comment and tell us your ideas and show us what you're making make sure you use the hashtag plaid crafts and mod Podge so we can see what you're making we'll be back here next thursday on facebook and on saturdays at youtube and as always we'll be answering your questions live so please drop any questions or comments that you have if we don't get to you live we will circle back and get back to you have a great weekend i will see you guys next week